So I'm Mike Kading, president of Norhart. We build and manage apartments. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how the time is now. See, there are moments in all of our lives where we know we should do something, but maybe we get scared or we get, get cold feet and race away from that moment. You know, for you guys, it, it might be just coming to this event, introducing yourself to somebody new. I know that terrifies me. <laughs> or maybe it's calling a uh, client or customer you, don't need to know, you need to get a hold of. Or maybe it's um, giving an employee feedback or uh, a coworker feedback on something. There's all these moments that in that moment, you know you should do something, but then you don't feel like doing it. Now, let me give you an example. A, a few weeks ago, I went to an apartment conference, the largest in the world, called Apartmentalize. And there, the last speaker was Alex Rodriguez. Now, I was excited to hear him, so I got there early to get the best seat I could in the entire place. But when I got in there, I realized that the first 30 or 40 rows were reserved for executives and board members and sponsors and important people. And I was none of those things. So I got pushed back to like row 40. But luckily, within the last minute before Alex was about to speak, the attendants came around with signs inviting people to come up to the front for the few remaining seats. Of course, I jumped in and raced up to the front and got one of the best seats in the entire place of 10,000 people. I was so excited to be there. And as Alex started to speak, I started to look around and I noticed some of the people I was sitting around. This is Alex Rodriguez's business manager and I believe his kids alongside of that. And then there were CEOs and executives of some of the largest apartment companies in the entire world. If this was an opportunity to meet people in my industry, it was a fantastic one and I needed to take advantage of it. In fact, Alex even mentioned how fortune favors the bold. It was like the stars were aligning. This was my chance to meet up with these incredible people. Well, at the end, as it all wrapped up, I stood up to put my hand out and say hi, but I didn't. Instead, I walked out of the conference. I couldn't believe myself. I was kicking myself in the head. What was I doing? I wasn't taking advantage of this very moment. Well, as I walked out of the main conference hall and out the side, I eventually stopped, luckily, and turned around, went back, and stood awkwardly next to all of those CEOs and executives, waited for the right moment, put my hand out, and said, hi, my name is Mike. Now what was great was they were gracious. We traded business cards. And I have no idea if anything will ever come from that. But that's not the point. The point is to take advantage of the opportunities and moments in front of you, even when every bone in your body is screaming to run away. You know, most people believe that you either succeed or you fail. But for many of us in the room and business owners and successful people, they realize and understand that success comes from a long series of failures. I really like this chart. This is basically the curve or the emotional journey of creating anything great. So you start off excited. This is the best idea ever. You're super into it. You get into it though and you start realizing, well, this is a bit of work. It's a little harder than I thought. And eventually things start to go wrong and you get stuck in this dark swamp of despair and you may be there for quite a while, maybe there's a few swear words, but with enough energy and hard work, you eventually can work yourself out of that and see success. Now what we find though is that 99% of people, they don't see all of the pain and despair and difficulty it took to get there. They just see the success. So they think, wow. That was an overnight success, but we know it takes a lot of failure and taking advantage of opportunities to get to that point. Ah, let's show a video. Dean's gonna put up another video for me. And this video is of our Emberwood Apartments. And you'll see in a moment that uh, it's got quite nice interiors and it's one of the top rated apartments in all of Blaine and even the North Metro. But it was a bear to get to this point. Especially at the beginning of the project, there was lots of points at which we failed. I remember standing in a trench looking for a small water leak in a uh, water main for over a week. I'd be there from sunrise 
to sunset. But people don't see that. People don't see the stress and pain it took to get there. I want to hop over back to the slides. Let me give you another example. About six, eight months ago, uh, the North Metro actually held the gala. And I was pretty new to the North Metro at the time, and I went to the gala. I didn't really know anyone there, except for maybe DJ. Were you? Yeah, you were there then. Uh, but um, I noticed there was one guy standing uh, with a number of people. His name was Lucas Gone. And Lucas Gone worked for our biggest competitor. And I thought, what an opportunity to, to build a relationship and friendship with a person like that. But I was terrified. I mean, he was talking to a bunch of people. He was laughing, having fun. I didn't want to interrupt them. But eventually I worked up the courage to introduce myself. And Lucas is super nice. Oh my gosh, we have met up multiple times since then. And actually Lucas Gone is here today. Uh, I'm so glad that he was able to make it. But I would have never have had that opportunity to meet Luke if I hadn't taken advantage of that opportunity in front of me. Let me give you one last story. See, we've been starting our social media, and actually Dick Fisher, I don't know if he's here, but Dick's been fantastic, oh sorry. But you guys have been fantastic in helping us with our social media. But you know, I've had some major failures along the way, and Dick hasn't helped me with my Twitter account, but my Twitter account has 36 followers. That is actually down from 37 a week ago. <laughs> so there's points where it's, it doesn't go that well. And in fact, a few weeks ago, I met up with one of my mentors. I've been putting a lot of time and energy into LinkedIn. And my mentor looked at my LinkedIn account and said, Mike, I don't think this is doing what you wanted to do. And in some regard, maybe it's actually hurting you. And we talked for hours. And in that day, I was in like a mini pit of despair. I knew I needed to write a post that very night, but I didn't want to. I wrote it up, put it all together, and I'm like, I didn't want to hit that post button. I don't want to send it out to the world. I don't want to put myself out there just to be crushed by what people thought of what I was doing. But the time is now. I clicked the submit button, and here's what happened. That very post from that night got 225 thousand views. Over 3,000 likes on LinkedIn and over 300 comments, which is like unbelievable for LinkedIn. And ever since then, we've had a lot of very successful posts on LinkedIn. But I didn't know that this was going to be the one. This could have been just another failure yet again. But that's the point. Take advantage of the opportunities in front of you. Keep failing. Be okay with that. And eventually, eventually, you'll see some great success. So. Thanks for listening, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.